Hello and welcome to this session techies. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In this session, we are going to talk about AWS Cloud Trail servers. This session is going to be quick introduction, then configuring a trail and analyzing the log files. So first of all, friends, we need to know what is Cloud Trail. AWS Cloud Trail is a web service that records AWS API calls for AWS account and delivers the log files to S3 bucket. When you want to track changes to cloud resources, track changes to cloud resources, what it means now? Let's say when your EC2 instance changes its state from start to stop or stop to terminate, and you want to know who created instance, who powered off instance, who created S3 bucket, who modified S3 bucket, who deleted S3 bucket, who created IAM user, everything whatever you can think like these are changes to cloud resources you can track those with cloud trail or when you want to troubleshoot the issues when i say troubleshoot let's say you are not able to start your ec2 instance you are not able to modify some permissions and you want to know what is happening in background why you are not able to do the things that is troubleshooting so cloud train can help you to debug what is happening, why you are not able to do or perform that particular task. Or you want to perform auditing for security analysis, you can use CloudTrail. What is security or auditing? Let's say you want to know who powered off your EC2 instance. With CloudTrail, you can easily get that information. What are the benefits of using CloudTrail service? I've listed a couple of benefits. There are many, but uh, I have listed uh, only few. Like uh, you can know who made that API call because when you work with Amazon, let's say using GUI or uh, using command line, you want to know who triggered the command, who run that particular command or who executed that process. Same thing, multiple way of describing. So that information can be tracked using CloudTrail service. Time of the event when API request was made. So you're troubleshooting something, you want to know when this instance went down. In that case, CloudTrail logs the time when that API request was made. Or you want to know the detail of API request made, like what parameter user passed command line or uh, what command he executed, everything can be tracked using CloudTrail. Well, let's say, you want to track source IP from where API request was made. That can be tracked using CloudTrail. Even uh, you can get the response detail which came from API service when the API request was made. So these are the benefits of using CloudTrail. At present, CloudTrail service is supported in all Amazon regions and uh, CloudTrail logs can be saved indefinitely or you can create a retention policy on your S3 bucket where logs are saved. When I say retention policy, it means uh, let's say you got some standard, like you will only keep uh, the last two weeks data, something, if uh, the kind of policy in your setup or in your company, depending upon set setup, this policy can be different. But uh, if the cloud trail logs are not huge, then just keep those for minimum three months. That's some recommendation, but again, uh, as I mentioned, that differs setup to setup or your requirement to requirement. Uh, please note, uh, when an event of API call is not immediately delivered by CloudTrail, as per Amazon, it may take 15 minutes to provide uh, information by CloudTrail service. Once CloudTrail got that event detail, it may take uh, couple of minutes by default after every five minutes cloud trail ships the logs to s3 bucket so that's something the default time and uh, cloud trail service can be further configured to push notification using aws sns service you can integrate cloud trail with sns basically if your setup is not that big let's say you got only 15 20 ec2 service couple of s3 buckets couple of im users or couple of other services means you are not using uh, Amazon much then you can go with the standard way but in case uh, you got uh, thousand of servers lot of data you are consuming 
many Amazon services. In that case, if you want to use CloudTrail for logging, in that case, log files are going to be very huge. What it means now, uh, if you want to debug something or you want to get some information from the log file, auditing those logs is a big uh, task. So in such cases, there are uh, free and paid version of softwares which are available for log management. You can run your queries using those log management tools. I've listed a couple of tools which are popular nowadays that they are. They are uh, Logi, Sumologic, CloudTrail View, and Splunk. Splunk, everyone knows that's the most popular one, but that is paid one again. Next thing, CloudTrail service can be configured using AWS Management Console, or you can use AWS CLI for the configuration purpose. And max five trails can be created in an AWS region. So this was something theoretically, and in lab, we are going to create a cloud trail using AWS CLI. I'm not using graphical console because that's two click thing. And in enterprise generally, everyone prefers to use AWS CLI. That's the reason I'm uh, focusing on AWS CLI in this session. Once cloud trail is created, then I'm going to describe how you can Add it and analyze the API calls made by a particular user for uh, some particular functions. So that is our agenda for uh, the lab. And uh, I have uh, documented what commands I'm going to run to create a trail, how I'm going to apply policy and what policy I'm going to apply. After that, uh, I'm going to tell uh, how you can validate whether your trail is created and how you can enable it then i'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can look up the event for your auditing or uh, validation purposes and uh, at the end i'm going to demonstrate uh, when you got log files or your data on s3 bucket how you can use that data to grab uh, the required information Please note, uh, in this example, I'm not going to demonstrate how you can do this with a tool like Splunk or Loki. Instead, I'm going to use uh, JQ, which is Java query, to do the query work for me, to do the audit for me. Because I don't have tool, I'm not after using a free or paid version. For this demo, I will use JQ, as I mentioned. Then at the end, I will show you how you can tag a trail. If you remember, in previous sessions, we have discussed what is tagging, how important tagging is, how you can configure tagging. So I'm just give, going to give you one quick demo how you can tag your trail. So that is whole agenda. So let's begin with technical session and uh, I can demonstrate the things to you. Okay, so I am on my AWS management server. On this server, I have configured my AWS CLI. If you are not aware how to configure AWS CLI, just watch uh, videos on my YouTube channel. There you will find video how you can configure AWS CLI. Okay, first thing, when we want to create a trail, uh, first thing we have to do, we have to create a S3 bucket where all the log files will be shipped by CloudTrail service. So I'm going to use AWS CLI for that purpose. So first thing, let's validate I'm able to contact Amazon API. So I can run AWS CC to describe regions. If this command is working, then it means I'm able to communicate with Amazon. If you see, I got output. This output is from Amazon API. So my connectivity seems okay. So first thing I have to create a S3 bucket and I'm going to use AP Southeast 2 because I'm at Sydney and that's a Australia region, APAC 2, to create S3 bucket. AWS S3 API is the S3 service, create bucket with dash dash bucket. This is the bucket name, dash dash reason. This is the region, pressing enter. Okay, so bucket is created and this is the location of bucket. Basically, this is the location from where uh, I can uh, 
update or upload the log i can get the things i can put the things okay so bucket is created next thing uh, what happens uh, when you create bucket you have a, to apply a policy so that uh, cloud trail service because that is a separate service that is not uh, a like part of s3 because cloud trail is totally different service so we have to create a policy so cloud trail service can write data to this particular s3 bucket for that we have to create a policy and uh, i have already created a policy using the policy generator i can tell you how to generate policy but uh, for now i'm going to copy paste the policy which i created i'm naming this policy as uh, policy dot json that is in json form so i'm making extension json okay so this is my policy let me quickly give you idea what this policy is doing this is the policy version and in statement i got effect allow basically this thing is allowed i'm saying service cloud trail dot amazon dot amazon aws dot com so this is a service action s3 get bucket acl ac access control list of uh, s3 bucket uh, data inside s3 bucket so this particular service can uh, do the operations which is a bucket acl on this particular s3 bucket this is my bucket name this is the other operation which is to put the data put object with service cloud trail service on this particular bucket and string equal it mean uh, bucket owner full control so that's a permissions i'm uh, giving on uh, bucket for this particular cloud trail service so let me save it so i've just applied the policy how to apply policy aws s3 api which is a service put bucket policy bucket on which bucket this is bucket which i created with this particular step this step and what's a policy dash dash policy file mean uh, because policy is uh, this file is locally available on my system so i'm saying file colon dash slash slash policy dot json and uh, policy is applied on this bucket so if i have to quickly verify whether policy got applied or not simply i can run uh, get bucket policy with bucket name and i'm just uh, taking output in text format if you see this is the output this is my policy basically all the content so my policy got applied successfully now one thing may be in your mind uh, how you can define the policy how you can generate policy for that there are two simple ways if you are not comfortable with the cli i will say go with the graphical one the doi method because uh, in that way you don't need to create or mess with the policy because uh, that graphical way automatically policy gets generated but in case you want to create policy yourself so you can uh, use policy generator which is uh, one of the amazon tool let me give you a quick demo how it works so this is the link uh, basically on google just search amazon policy generator it will take you to this particular link here your policy type allow effect allow principal your s3 and here with service here you can select a particular cloud trail service then in action you can say which action like uh, get bucket acl or get s3 acl or put and click on add statement and after that uh, click on generate policy it will generate the policy which i just demonstrated you that's something i generated using this particular tool so that's not an agenda like how to generate policy but this is something you can explore at your end in case you have any issue you can uh, just put a comment on my youtube channel with the issues i will try to help you so our policy is attached to the s3 bucket now next thing let's create our first trail or you can say first cloud trail for that let me clear screen first aws service name is cloud trail now I'm saying create dash trail. This will be my trail name. I'm saying this is my S3 bucket name. This one, pressing enter, it will create a trail for me. Okay, if you see trail is created, this is the unique identifier for trail. This is a trail name, 
and uh, include global service event true this is by default true what include global service event uh, because amazon provides services uh, globally because there are many amazon regions if you want to know the global service event let's say in one of the region one any service goes down completely or some issue happens then you will be notified for that event that's by default true if you want to make it disable while creating true on that particular trail you can specify the options log file val validation enable that's by default false is multi-region trail this is by default false if you want to enable it uh, you can uh, say dash dash is multi-region sorry notice you can say dash dash multi-region trail so it will be multi-region so i prefer uh, to lock it uh, locally in your particular region why because when you work in enterprise let's say you are in uh, us so you want to use only services available in us you don't want to go to india region to take services why there will be latency right so in us you got uh, three or four availabilities on so why to go to some different region in such case that was example but again that depends uh, on setup to setup so this policy is uh, done and uh, this is my trail ARN number which is unique identifier okay so i can see my trail is created so if you want to verify in detail so you can run command aws cloud trail describe trails same information i got only thing it here it is showing what is my home region because i created it in uh, southeast 2 which is uh, australia and rest information is similar which i see in uh, our at the time of uh, trail creation if you want to know what is the status of trail because it is telling what what are the options uh, default for that particular trail if you want to check the status if you see this particular bit is logging that is set to false what it mean uh, because as of now we have just created a trail so only trail is created but it is not enabled what enabled me now is logging me is logging mean trail is logging the data or not right now it is not logging any data for that particular trail to log the data and do other operations we need to enable it which means we have to set is logging status to true then only it will start logging the data because if you see all this information is now because uh, it is saying time logging stopped not nil here again uh, la latest delivery attempt nil why because there is no logging happening because it's currently disabled so let's enable the logging to enable logging that's simple you have to just to say start logging with aws cloud trail service like this AWS Cloud Trail start logging and your trail name. Okay, this is done. So let's verify. If you see, is logging is true now. And time logging started because we started it just right now. It is showing time. Start logging time. This is the time. It is not showing latest delivery attempt because I haven't done any operation on Amazon service. So this is something we have. Uh, generated uh, the trail we have enabled it now let's play with the uh, one of the amazon service let's create uh, amazon instance and uh, let's contact uh, amazon ec2 service using ansible i can show you one playbook which i got on my system i will use that playbook to create instance Okay, so this is the playbook of Ansible. You don't need Ansible playbook. You can simply contact, uh, you can run any command which will hit Amazon API. So that will be logged if you want to see demo only. So this is my service. In this service, I'm using EC2 module. I am uh, going to start instance. I'm going to work with the uh, Amazon keys, security keys, security group. That's something. Let me create one instance quickly.
if you're wondering how to use ansible playbook to create ec to install there is another video uh, from uh, me uh, on youtube you can search with my name yogesh mehta ec to instance creation using ansible so in that way you can get the data so let create one instance it may take a couple of seconds so i'm just pausing the video for that particular duration and another thing as i mentioned uh, it may take uh, 10 to 15 minutes for uh, cloud trail to get that particular api call event so don't worry if you are immediately not able to see the api call made as i mentioned it may take some time with as per amazon it may take max 15 minutes so we have to keep patience okay so my instance is created this is information but uh, i will wait for a couple of uh, minutes so cloud trail can see the api events so i will wait for five ten minutes so let's check the events now to check the events you can run aws cloud trail space lookup dash events i'm just popping it to more because this output will be big because i did uh, multiple activities on uh, AWS services using console as well as CLI. I'm just wiping it to more so I can give you one demo how it works. Okay, if you see this is the event ID, which user did that event? Because on my server I'm root, so it is showing root at what time event happened this particular time. Uh, again, uh, what is the source IP? If you see this particular bit from which IP that particular request was made. Uh, what request made uh, terminate instances? If you see here which instances if you see this is the event name here terminate instances which mean terminating ec2 instances which instances were requested for termination one two these two instances then the next request which was console login because i logged in uh, as root at this particular time which browser i used i used mozilla on a windows machine from windows i logged in so it is uh, grabbing all the detail what was source ip from which ip this is my public ip from where i'm trying to log in so if you see all the information is here here i create a tag so event name create tag on which resource on this particular ec2 instance i create a tag so even that is logged at what time i logged from where i logged and here if you see i created new instance uh, which particular subnet i used which particular key pair i used what was the instance id what was the security group what was the ami which i used what was the eni interface or network interface id this was which vpc what iam user profile i have used what's the instance profile what was the security group what was the iam instance profile same so if you see everything is locked and at what time instance was created if you see this was the event time so all the information is here friends so that's the way cloud trail log all the things so this is in particular if you want to see all the things but let's say uh, your requirement is only to see when a particular instance was started in that case what uh, we can do we can look up for a event because right now i checked all the events right i can look up for event here let's say i want to see only run instance event run mean uh, if someone created new instance cloud trail lookup event after that lookup attribute attribute key is event name if you see here event name that's attribute and uh, what is the value run instances so this is value so this is key this is value i'm saying show me where value is run instances and i'm piping it to more i'm not sure how many okay if you see with this one i got uh, this particular information quickly and these are the events when uh, we run run instances basically we created new instances from which ip request was made who made as i discussed all the events related to uh, this particular thing uh, which is run instances were locked so if you see because i created many instances it got my data 
So that's something uh, is very useful when you want to audit the thing. So next thing, let's say uh, data is on S3 bucket because right now we are not contacting S3 bucket. We are just uh, inter interacting with live cloud trail service. And let's say you want to see some historic data which is in your S3 bucket, how you can use that uh, data for analyzing or auditing the things. So let me give you a quick demo. We clear screen and I can straight away start. First, I'm creating one directory where I'm going to sync S3 logs, and uh, then I'm going to sync up the S3 bucket data in this particular directory which I just created. So I will use AWS S3 sync S3. This is a service. This is my bucket with my logs. Pressing enter. It may take some time because as they got a lot of data if you see these are the files which are getting copied because uh, i was having this service active a couple of days back so it logged all the data from my bucket okay so let me list the content of my logs now if you see this is the directory let me see into this directory So I am in my region directory here year 2017 03 is a month and these are the dates friends. I use this service on 22nd, 25th, 26th and today is 31st. So I'm using this service. So let me log into 31st directory, 31 number. Here there are two files. Basically they are gz gunzip file and they are in json format basically so first of all what i have to do i have to gunzip these files so i'm just running gunzip 77 because prefix is 77 star so they are gunzipped okay so these are json files now and uh, let me quickly see if i got jq installed on my system i believe it's installed because I did that uh, some time back, but let's uh, let it run. Okay, so JQ is already installed, so that's good. Now let's use JQ to query these particular files to see when instance was created. If you see this time, these particular files were uh, shipped here. So sync happens uh, quite often within five minutes if you see this file first file was 2319 which means uh, 1119 this is 1122 so three after three minutes next file was shipped so that's something uh, less than five minutes to query these files let me show you content if i do simple cat or uh, more to see the content if you see uh, this is the data only this is the data but uh, for a technical person if you don't have much knowledge on uh, json it will be difficult for you to check one particular thing let's say i want to see great trail and it is difficult for me to see this data how can i properly format the data for that i can use a jq2 so let me tell you quick way let's say i want to run uh, query for one particular event so sorry for this i'm saying the uh, run query for uh, run instances to run instances jq dot records and this is the way uh, this is jq if you don't know jq uh, i will upload a video in a couple of days uh, where i can describe how you use jq here i'm just filtering for uh, with event name run instances if you see this is the same output which you can see above but in a better formatted way if you see it telling each and every detail in a json format image id minimum count max count like how many instances i have created what was the instance type what was the block device mapping what was the subnet what was the response element what was the response id who was the owner this is my amazon account so many things friends what was the instance id which am i used 
what is the instance state because that is run instances because that time it was pending mean it was getting created after that it got created so states change if you see uh, there are hypervisor information it is using zen hypervisor hvm is the virtualization type everything all the events all the things are logged into this particular uh, log file which is on my s3 bucket now and as i mentioned uh, depending upon your retention policy you can uh, store the data you can store it for three months you can store it for a year you can store it for a week depending upon your policy and your requirements so that's something uh, jq and uh, now let's tag our trail what is tagging it will give some uh, information uh, like basically why we are tagging uh, who basically tagging helps to identify resources quickly because if your name is not descriptive the trail name is not descriptive in that case you can use tag uh, so you can easily or and quickly identify the resources to tag a resource you need its uh, trail ARN number because that's a uh, trail in ARN number is a unique identifier how you can list the trail ARN number for that uh, you can run uh, describe trails command and it will list out the trail ARN number Okay, so this is a trail ARN number which is unique in this case. So let's tag uh, this particular trail. Okay, so for tagging AWS Cloud Trail, add tags dash dash resource dash ID, which is this ARN number, this one, then dash dash tag dash list key is equal to this is a key, this is the value, and this is the uh, next key, and this is the value. So you can say uh, it is my production account trail for this particular service. This is my non-pro trail for this particular account. So you can create a uh, different trail depending upon your requirements. And uh, if you see this command executed successfully, no errors reported, it means uh, trail is tagged. So how you can validate whether tagging is properly done or not. So you run cloud trail list tags now. Earlier you executed add tags now list tag mean it was only list the tags and the arn i'm just copy pasting this arn press enter if you see this is the key this is the value this is a key this is the value because i added two keys and two values depending upon your requirement you can add multiple keys multiple values such as who is owner of this particular trail for what purpose you created this trail what all services this trail is configured what policy you applied so something which uh, is relevant for you and that way you can uh, tag the trail next thing uh, let me quickly show you if you want to see these things uh, using graphical interface amazon management console how you can can do that okay i am on uh, management console so here i'm Navigating to Cloud Trail here in Management Tools. In the service, uh, basically, if I click Trails, it tells what trails I got. At present, I got only one trail. It is showing this is my trail name. In this region, it is created. This is the bucket which this particular trail is using, and this is the logging status. If I click on this trail, it will show all the events or what is the configuration. I can configure the thing. If I want to integrate it with some other service, I can say publish to SNS uh, to edit the things. At what time last log file was delivered, this is the time. I can configure each and everything. As I mentioned, logging need to be enabled for this trail to be working. Right now it's on. If I want to turn it off, click here. If you click continue, it will be turned off. Let me do it for you. It's off now. If I click here again, it's on now. And if you want to see what activity has been done graphically, like this is the graphical way. This particular instance was tagged. If you want to see more detail, uh, like each and every activity is logged. You can see using graphical way also. But uh, that depends upon you. You are more comfortable with CLI or graphical. <laughs> Let's say you want to see detail of this particular event. You can expand it from here. So this was the access key. This was the event. 
source and this particular time event happened this was the source ip which user executed this particular event so that's a detail uh, which you got if you want to see more detail for that particular event you can click on view event if you see this is in uh, json format it uh, is giving all the output so that's something you can do it graphically let me create a trail quickly for you using uh, the graphical way because in this demo i thought only discuss command line but uh, let me give you a quick idea how you can create a trail using ui click on trails then add new trail your trail name let's say i'm saying demo trail yogesh apply to all region yes or no i'm saying uh, no i want to keep it this region create new s3 bucket yes s3 bucket name i can say this need to be unique test yogesh mehta s3 bucket so whatever name uh, which is not already taken click on create and uh, when you click create it create s3 bucket it automatically applies policy and your trail is created so this is the new trail if you see and logging status is by default on using command line it's not on if you have noticed but using graphical it's always on so that's something is easy and you can uh, see how useful it is i hope uh, this helped you and uh, you can play with cloud trail service you can configure it you can learn the basics from this video then you can explore new things and you can uh, do more things in a more uh, detail and more professional way i can say as per your requirement and your setup but this session is only to give you basics so thank you for watching this video if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you friends bye bye